Hello, YouTube land, and welcome to another edition of the Crypto Mama Mia. Today is January 19th, 2022. Welcome to another episode. That's right, ladies and gents. Like I said, I am working on getting you at least one episode a week. Life has been hectic, life has been crazy, but I have missed all of you out there in YouTube land. And you know what? This world is a crazy world. So <laughs> it's like the upside down world. It's like we're living in, I don't know if you folks watch Netflix, but I do watch some shows occasionally. And I watch that uh, Stranger Things and man, I feel like we're in the upside down world right now. Just when I think it can't get any crazier, it does. <laughs> but what am I here? What am I doing? I am talking about crypto. And in today's episode, I'm talking about in 2022, how are you cashing out your crypto? These are the ways that I'm doing it. Um, I'm using one mainly over the others, but I've heard things about <laughs> the other two that I'm going to talk about. Uh, especially if you're new to crypto and you're just wanting to like maybe buy some and then like sell it and then cash it out, you know, those kinds of things. So that's what I'm here to talk about in 2022. How are we doing that? I'm not going to be, this is not a tutorial. This is just some of the ways that I recommend you check out. And, you know, it, it's because uh, depending on where you live in the, this crazy, crazy world, you know, there are certain restrictions or you may not be able to access them, et cetera, et cetera. So I just wanted to make it quick and simple so that you at least have an idea of where you can start. So I'll go ahead and get started. But before I do, ladies and gents, please remember, not your financial advisor. As always, please do your own due diligence and watch the latest and greatest for crying out loud. So here we go. First one, Coinbase. Yes, it's the OG. It's basically the first one I use to get started. And I like this one because you can actually hook up your account, your bank account, so that when you want to buy, you can directly pull it from, you know, whatever funds you account you connected to this Coinbase account. And then when you want to sell and then you get cash for your crypto, you can direct deposit it back into that account. So this is, especially if you're new, ladies and gents, I recommend looking into Coinbase. It pretty much works in most parts of the world. There are some restricted areas, but this one is a pretty broad and basic one to get started with, If especially if you're new to crypto. And this is your first go around with anything crypto related. They don't have all the altcoins out there because that's just so many altcoins. But they have the basic ones, as you can see, like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, Solana, etc. They have it in euros, USD, you know, what, wherever you're living in the world, that's where, how it's going to show up, right? Because that's probably how your bank account is taking the cash money, or as I like to call it, fiat. So it's really simple. They have tutorials. Uh, the, the basic thing is just get your account, your bank account hooked up to that first before doing anything. And then always do, I like to do tests, like little small amounts, just to make sure that I can buy and sell smoothly and all that kind of fun stuff. So yeah, Coinbase, if you're new, I suggest looking into that one just so that you can get your cash out. Now, if you have an Exodus wallet, I would say, you know, you can transfer your crypto from your Exodus because, you know, Exodus, you can't cash out there to get, and get cash. You would need to put it somewhere else like Coinbase and then you can get the cash here. So if you have an Exodus wallet, you can you know, you can withdraw your crypto from your Exodus and deposit it into your Coinbase wallet and then sell your crypto here for cash. Because again, ladies and gents, I get this question still. I made a video maybe like two, three years ago. I still get this question today. How do I get cash out of Exodus? You can't. You just flat out can't. So you need to have a place like this, Coinbase, where you can 
withdraw your crypto and you sell it for the cash or fiat. Fiat is a term I like to use because that's what it is. Now, Cash App, this is the one I mainly use only because of convenience. Yes, that's right. So you can buy and sell Bitcoin in here. Uh, you do have to verify your account, KYC, that kind of fun stuff. And then you can actually deposit. So again, if you have an Exodus wallet, um, you can, if you have a verified Cash App account, you can withdraw your crypto. It's actually only Bitcoin right now for Cash App, but that's the one I mainly deal with when I do need to cash out for some cash money or fiat, then I would usually exchange it back into Bitcoin and just stick it in here. Only for ease for me, I like this because I, I use this on my phone as well. So it's a, there's, it's a mobile app. I mean, I do think they have it on desktop, but it's it's just easier for me to use it on my mobile. Yeah, so you can do direct deposit right back into your bank account. Plus you can have a debit card. So if you rather have a debit card on this one, you can, you know, again, put your Bitcoin into the Cash App because it'll have its own Bitcoin wallet. So you can, let's say you have a hundred bucks worth of Bitcoin in your Exodus wallet because it went up from 50 and now you want to cash out 50 bucks, for example. All you need to do is, again, first you need to KYC your Cash App. Then you need to open up your Cash App Bitcoin wallet and you can send your Bitcoin here, sell it for whatever fiat, USD, whatever, wherever you're at. And then you just, you know, because your account has been linked to a bank account, you can direct deposit into there. They even have a feature where if you want it instantly, you pay a small fee and it's really small, small percentage. But if you can wait, I usually can wait. And so it comes to your account like one to three business days. And it doesn't even take the three usually unless the network is super busy. It only takes about one business day. So this is the primary way that I like to cash out my Bitcoin is through Cash App. Right. And if you go again into my link tree, I do have links to, you know, things like Cash App. So if you are curious just to at least get a Cash App started, you can even send Bitcoin from your Cash App to somebody else's Cash App. I know. And you can buy stocks. It's not just to send money from one person to another anymore. And so you can have a debit card. So if you do want to go to the ATM and get cash that way, you can do that as well. And the third way, which has been getting a lot of press, I've seen a lot of commercials on TV or even on the internet for this, is crypto.com. And now they even have NFTs. But yes, you can deposit your crypto in here and you can cash it out as well. They have debit cards for this one. Uh, this one, I'm... I haven't used this one because it's funky in my area, like where I live in the world. <laughs> I don't know. There's so many things you have to do. But like a lot of people who live in different parts of the world, they like this one the best, they said. Because this one, it actually, um, what do you call? It gets connected to a debit card, right? A Visa card. So you can sell, so if you have, again, Exodus, I like to use that example because I still get a lot of questions about that. But if you have an Exodus, then you can go ahead and deposit it into your crypto.com wallets. And this one actually takes more than just Bitcoin, has a lot of altcoins as well. So you can cash, you can deposit it into here and then you can cash it out, right? Like, so you would transfer it into dollars into your Visa card. Then you can just use your Visa card like how you would a regular Visa card, right? You go shopping with it. If you need the actual cash in your hands, you can go to the ATM and get cash out. But yeah, and I hear crypto.com has one of the lowest fees out there. So check into that one if you, if you don't mind like just having it go straight into a Visa card and then just using the Visa card as you would any of your other cards. Because right now, a lot of people don't use cash anyways, right? They use their Visa cards or other electronic methods of um, 
what do you call this of paying for stuff <laughs> for lack of a better term but anyways ladies and gents that is what it is um you know uh those are the three methods again cash app is the primary method i use like this is just a quick what do i use in 2022 or what have people been using especially if you're new coinbase probably is the one to get started with this one also has kyc know your customer verify your id etc cash app you don't need to but if you want to be able to deposit bitcoin in here then yes you will need to do that and crypto.com it goes into a visa card right and then you just get cash that way and this one i believe i'm not too sure if you have kyc maybe it depends again on what part of the world you live in but yeah there you go ladies and gents I hope that was helpful. And no, no, you cannot get cash out of Exodus, <laughs> please. You know, that's the basic. You just can't. You need to withdraw it and put it somewhere like this or this or this, right? Okay, so there you go. I hope that was helpful, ladies and gents. I hope you're having a great day or night. Wherever you are, please stay safe. Please stay healthy. Please stay sane, most important of all. And if you have not already, like and subscribe, please do you know you get some useful info from me you know you do so hit that like button hit that subscribe button and i will see you at the next video adios